Live from headquarters, you are watching the Phobla Bulletin. All the news you need to avoid failing as a wannabe Cape Tonian this coming weekend. My name is Ruda Stilfan Jakelsfontein. Good afternoon. In the headlines today, if you like Fokov Polisikar and don't care what they are called, then go to Dizzy's in Camps Bay this weekend. Van Kaukartel will present their winter special. Assume a night of OK tunes, cock Camps Bay parking and Hunter Kennedy in a pair of shorts. <laughs> if you have a seriously shit job and enjoy spending your weekends in an alcohol fueled oblivion that allows you to escape your forgettable existence by seeing dussies and midget striptease shows or if you enjoy painful family secrets, then the Stellenbosch International Chamber Music Festival is just for you. Party. Bring your own gun, drugs and gender issues. Then Carnival Court, that dodgy backpackers on Upper Long Street, invites you to the Spaceman and the Miss Lichter Abeli event this weekend. The crowd is cheap and so is the booze. If you are a fan of author Breitem, 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 Bach and would like to meet him, then make sure you pump some gas into your Polo Vivo and head out to the forgettable town of Montegu. Breitem, 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 what the fuck? Won't be there, I, I mean, who would? <laughs> mm. But his name is being used for the silly book fair that takes place this weekend. Tell your wife you have to work, pack a bag of condoms and fuck the weekend away at your nearest Formula One hotel. <laughs> if you need to give your GHD a spin and enjoy wearing your Mr. Price couture and live for hobnobbing with small anal listers, a listers, then Friday in the sky is up your pole. It's the best way to throw your true self away and don that I'm hot shit that you can't even touch hair straightener. In a surprise move now, we will go to our not sponsors. Shatterproof glass by Clicks. Now for something important. We bring you a Fobler Bulletin special. Even the brightest of stars must eventually burn out and so we pay tribute to a Fobler legend, our brightest star, Madiba. Madiba, born to the breezy hills of the Eastern Cape, was still a young boy when he decided to take up his place in history. He first appeared in a series of Sophia Town productions like Passbook Burning and Amandla. His early work, although allauded by international opinionators, was dismissed by local critics. Discovered in a house in Ravonia by the then state-run Pontai Studios, he was forcibly signed on to a 27-year-long run of the limey period piece The Island of Robin, a brutal political drama set against the backdrop of unfavourable conditions. Madiba continued to rouse international attention for his unflinching portrayal of a man condemned. Finally, in 1990, at the eventual fall of the apartheid studio system, Madiba was offered the role of president in the 1994 production, Democracy. His performance earned him a Nobel Peace Prize and the praise of the critics world over, some citing it as the greatest modern man the world has ever seen. He signed a major endorsement deal with the then new and unknown Truth and Reconciliation franchise that cemented his fame and greatness. His 1995 stadium piece Invictus, co-starring the South African Springboks, was a national seller. He declined the film adaptation and was replaced by an unknown voice artist, Morgan Freeman. Madiba went on to play famed superhero Nelson Mandela in The Man That Brought Us Together, a grand piece that saw South Africans, black, white, gay, straight, up, down, big, small, reenact their pride in the countries the world over. His memoirs, Long Walk to Freedom, has since been turned into a small film, out for release later this year. But perhaps his is the most notable and most famed contribution to the lives of us all was his international multi-award winning role as the father in the hit piece, The New South Africa. 
Who will forget that famous monologue in Act Two? I have cherished the ideal of democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. It is an ideal I hope to live and to achieve, but if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Madiba declined a lucrative L'Oreal deal and instead became the face of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund because he was worth more. And so, with our hat on our chest, myself and the news team, we salute you, Madiba, for bringing into our lives that special thing that only a great person can do, unity. That's all from myself and the news team. Take that, Deborah Pato. And remember, stars are people too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>